three o'clock already. Three thirty already. Good afternoon. Gonna take a few minutes and set this thing up and get these scales going and throw the slash on the rig and see where we're at. These things are out of here. Open this up. Turn them on, get them flashing, open up your app. Oops, I got the wrong one. Wrong app. Guess I should put my eyes on so I can see a tad better. I see gears piece. Put this in the center. Let her do what she's going to do. There she goes. Now they're acquiring. And you flipped over and they're all good to go. Set it out. There we go. All everything's zeroed out and balanced. Put it over here. And let's put this little girl on here and see where to, she weighs in at. All right. Trying to get them in the center position on the scale. And we'll see what she does. It's pretty decent. All right. So right now, if we look. We got, let me see if I can get this in here and get it to focus for a minute. Sometimes I don't like to. Trying to pick up too much on the rear end there. Come on. I wonder if I go like this. And yeah, I don't make it any easier there. Come in here. There we go. Now it's kind of focusing on it. Come on. It's strange that it doesn't really want to focus on it too much. Uh, it's not really focusing too great. What we're looking at on the front weight total is 598.9 grams. There's, it's 30% of the weight is up front. That's 330.1 on the left, 268.8 on the right. The left total weight is 974.2 grams. The right total weight is 1,005.7 grams. That's balanced 49.51 uh, to the right. Um, the front, actually the left, is a little heavier than the right. Um, the rear, we're looking at 644.1 on the left, 737.1 on the right. And our rear Weight ballast is what 130, 1381.2 on the rear for a total of 70% rear weighted for a total of everything. If you can see down here is 1980.1. That actually leaves me under um, the current limit, you know, low limit of. 2050 or 2060, I think 2050 grams or 2060 grams. By the time you throw paint on here, um, that will you know add a little bit to it. So I, this thing should come in really close. Of course, I'm gonna have to do a little setup. I got a little placement to do yet. Um, I, oh, I don't have a race pack in there. No battery pack. So once I throw a battery pack in there, that will certainly throw the weight where it should be 
me go ahead and set this in here. See what we can do with a little biasing on the weight. And move it forward all the way. Let's see where we end up at. So that, yeah, I put it up to 2202 with the battery pack in it. Now the battery pack's pretty much forward all the way. Um, that gives me 32% biased up front weight to 68 in the back. Um, right and left is 47 and 53, so left is a little lighter. So if I put a little bit of spring tension, let's try that. Oop. A little easier to get in here like this. A little spring tension on this side. Let's see if we can make it push a little more. See if that changes anything a little bit. Actually, I probably got to go the other way. Go to the right one. Back. We'll take a look. This one down. Add a little tension on the front right. I'm not sure why she. Oh, okay. Well, part of the thing is I got the receiver um, for this on the right side. I could probably get it centered. Um, which I most likely will before this whole thing is done. Let's put a bit of torque there. Let's see what that did. I'll uh, put the battery forward too. Okay, on the scales. I'm going to move this one a little bit. <laughs> okay, I guess it's at 2205 total weight. And we're a little closer. Left to white. Right ballast at this point, right's a little heavier at 60 grams, 11, 13, or actually not that much, no, right, right's a little lighter. So we got 1,112 on the left and 1,094 on the right, but they're closer. Um, still a bit difference on the left, left and right up front here, make sure we're setting properly. Not so much sure why the left is so much heavier than the front. Not much, I guess. 389 to 311, so a little bit. Side to side, 1114 to 1081. So, yeah, it's going to shift a little bit. And I think we're pretty level here. It doesn't matter a little bit on your level. So, yeah, we're overall not looking bad. I'm going to see if this thing will show up again here. Probably not. There, it's focusing a little bit finally. Was for a second. This thing's a little weird. Trying to block some of the other room out of it. But anywho, yeah, we're sitting with a battery pack in it at 2,200 grams, basically. 2,200.6.8. I mean, right at 2,200 grams right now. Pretty stable, not really moving much. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, got a 32% front bias to a 68% back. 50 to 50 right and left. It's a little different on each piece. I'm still trying to figure this 
uh, app out because it, you know, sometimes the tires, you know, they get yellow, or maybe that's if it's getting close and, and close to the balance. Don't seem to be. Let's pick it back up and let it zero itself back off. Okay. So once in a while these wheels, the fronts and backs will turn yellow and I'm still not quite sure what that's supposed to indicate. Although it's not doing it now, it was earlier. So I have a little playing back and forth to do. It's showing me quite a bit of difference on the rear rear weighting though. Pick up. It ain't too bad, but still about 100 grams different. 704 to 803, 804 now. So these things will shake a little bit. You know, I'm moving a little bit. See, there's 830 now to 686. So let the back zero out. The front zero out, zero out quick. So right now it's showing a 52% bias to the right. Still 32.68 front and rear. A little shake here again. Yeah, show me a 52% weight bias to the right here. Now I can see some of that being the receiver on this side. But now I've also got that front coil pushed down. And okay, now I'm getting my front weight just went to orange. And I'm not quite sure what that, what that means. Oh, okay. Looks like I, I can hit the... Oh, I see. All right. So here's a little... I just figured it out. Let me go back in here. So you're looking at it. Hello. Eh, go to the voice now. You got your front weights. Now it's where I'm getting my orange lighting up on my wheels. Let's see if you can see a little bit better here. Probably not. It's washing right out, but those front wheels are orange, and then you hit your rears. So if you're looking, highlighting your weights, and then you hit whole weight and that highlights all four of them. So now I'm kind of understand. Now I got to figure out what exactly it means. Hey, Lord, what's happening, man? Just doing a little kind of balancing, seeing where the old girl sets in at. I like this Bluetooth setup. I'm still trying to figure out how to use just the corner of scales. Um, I just, you know, obviously, you see, figured out one thing I didn't know before. <laughs> so I still got a little bit of stuff to learn here. But yeah, overall, give me an error, I'll probably. I'm reading an error, getting an error read on the right front here. Go ahead and pick her back up, let it zero. Actually, let me just pull her up. Go ahead and close the app. And I'm going to start it back up. Put this in the mirror or in the middle. Everything's blinking. Right front, make sure they're all right. Left front, left rear, right rear. Okay, there it found them. Now it's recognizing. Checking all the passwords and everything. There we go. Let's hit a total weight. Okay, all four wheels light up. You can probably see that a little bit there. Yeah, a little bit. More about you know your weight biasing and balancing. Um, having your you know gives you a total weight on your whole rig, and then how much weight's on the left front, on the right front, you know, so you can kind of move things around. Like if you're plotting, 
you weren't sure where to put your electronics and other stuff um of course you'd probably have your body off doing that stuff but you'd have it sitting on the scales and then you can just put your stuff in there and move it around and you want to try to keep it your your biasing so you're, you're not too much weight up front not too much weight in the back blah 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 for your setup and then of course with your tuning um your suspension tuning you tighten your spring up that puts more you know quote unquote weight on that side more tension on that side and this will kind of you know show you that um right now it's showing me 311 on the left front and 392 on the right 673 on the left rear 801 on the right so i'm a little heavier on the right than the left um of course i do have the receiver on the right um but i don't know uh, i got the antenna on the right that's on the right side so i'm not sure why that would push a little bit more weight to the right than the left um of course i do have a spring tension over here but basically it'll help you you know familiarize with yourself with the rig and setup and once you got that going um hopefully do better on the rim now i still got trimming to do so i'm going to lose weight when i trim the body and the wing obviously um, i'm probably going to get onto that here a little bit I haven't trimmed stuff in a decade and i never was much of a body guy I used to bought my stuff and had somebody do it for me so this is going to be a, a fun little deal going to do the trimming but i thought i'd do a quick video and kind of get the weight set up and see where we're at with it um, once I'm all trimmed up with the body, you get all that stuff. But I think the platform, um, let's say I'll probably remove the ESC, but I think the platform's all set and I'm still going to switch these rear body mounts and shift them around to lift that back of the body up just a smidge more. It looks like it's setting pretty level. The back may be just a smidge higher than the front, but I want to get it up a little bit more to help, you know, that back catch a little wind and, and push it down to help push some traction on the rear end. So, yeah, there we go. Quick little run through. Yeah, exactly. If you heavy on the left, you adjust the right. If you're heavy on the right, you adjust the left um, to try to push that balance out. And this shows you all your numbers. It, it's a neat little unit. Um, and the cost, you know, I've seen the Desert Hobby guys talking about it. I ordered mine right from RC Mart. And it looks like Desert Hobbies is going to be carrying the Bluetooth corner scales. And they are pretty nice little, little scales. Um, pretty much the same price. When I looked them up, the old head unit, which had the wires, the older version of the unit, they were $119, $109.99. Um, I found them as low as like $99, $95 here and there. Um, and this one popped up. It's a new unit, and I've seen it pop a Bluetooth one. Okay, let me check what that's about. It was $119, um, no shipping and no taxes coming right out of RC Mark because they, you know, direct out of China. So $119 bucks, took it about, you know, 10 days, two weeks to get here. And I like it a lot better than dealing with the wires and everything else. Really nice thing is to shut her off is you just kind of shut her down here. Um, let's see. I thought there was an, you know, there's a tear down. Oh, okay. Jesus. I didn't even really see that down. Something else I just learned. There's a tear button down here in a right, left, rough, right cross weight. So I'm going to reset this thing back on there. I've had this thing for two weeks and didn't realize that was uh, even in there. So let me kind of throw this thing back in here for a quick second and see what that does. All right, that gives me a, a right front, left rear, and a left front, right rear crossweight measurement. I did not see that before. Well, that's kind of sweet. So it's telling me I got 53% on the left front right rear weighting and 47 percent on the left rear right front weighting so it really yeah oh yeah so that's even more information than i knew was here before because i didn't scroll down thought i tried to one time but i must have not have so we push down there okay yeah Push over here. 
So yeah, that's you know that's kind of interesting. So basically, you know, it's your cross balancing on the bottom of the scale down here. You gotta kind of here's the top, and that's where I had it. That's why I you know scrolled it down, but I didn't. I must not have ever scrolled it down the extra inch and a half. <laughs> Found the extra information in a old two weeks that I've had it and a couple times I've used it. Yeah, that is kind of neat. You know, it shows you everything. And then you got to assign the scales. You, you got to get it. Um, when you calibrate them, you need a 2,000 gram weight to calibrate them. So, well, that is kind of neat. I never, I heard people talk about cross weighting and I see in the right and left, but I didn't realize that you scroll down and it gives you a little bit more. But yeah, so turning this thing off is really easy. I thought for a minute you could go in here and it had a on off, but it doesn't. And there's firmware. I had to update the actual firmware. So when you go get it all fired up in settings, um, go in and update your firmware. But all you do is just shut the program down. Um, and in the program, you can set how long your scales will stay on until they auto shut off. Now, I've been having problems with this one scale not shutting off, and we'll see what happens. And that's the only problem I've had, and all I've had to do is pop the battery out to shut it down, and that's good. And I think it was the right front. So we'll see if that shuts down, but these all should auto shut off here once I close the app in about a minute. I'm still waiting for things to come in, but it looks like uh, the rest of the back order is in. So if anybody has been looking for uh, the Revolution RC clutches, it looks like Amy's got them back in stock now. I had three of them on back order, and my order is getting filled finally. So they've got some of those in stock. I hear reactions are coming back in in the next couple of days to a week. Um, Proline must have them. I know McClan, if you're looking for McClan stuff, they did a pre-order and it looked like the pre-order was filled before it actually kind of got live. Okay, everything shut off this time. Nothing's on. So sweet. And don't have to pop a battery tray because that could be a kind of a pain. But when I bought them and pulled them out, I just marked the pad and I'm just going to leave them right here in this nice little padded box. It's simple. Sweet, keeps them in good shape. You know, me ain't got to worry about bumping them and knocking them around. And it's easy to pack up. It's a nice thin little, you know, basically six by six by one and a quarter inch, one and a half inch thick box. Yeah, you know, seven by seven. Yeah, seven by six. But anyways, simple little box. Carries them in, keeps them safe. So yeah, I'm uh, back on out of here. Um, just want to kind of throw that on the scales and get it checked up. I put the tarp on them last week and kind of started figuring them out. And tarp actually looks like it's pretty well balanced as it is. Um, before I just kind of plotted things where I thought they'd go and turned out pretty good. So I'll be jumping into these things a little bit more, doing a little bit more video on them for people um, needing to figure things out like I am with these, you know, quarter balancing. Because I've never been a racer on this level of RC been a racer i used to um ice race sleds back in the day or motocross back as a teen and a young adult back when i had a little bit more piss and vinegar in my britches back when you could fall and hurt and get back up and go at it <laughs> yeah so anyways i'm gonna head off you have a good day too man and uh everybody else thanks a lot for showing up and do me a favor and hit that like share and subscribe and pass the video and you know, let's get some more people into this tuning stuff, especially our young kids. That's where I'd like to see more of them. I always wanted my daughter to get into it, but it's just not her thing. So, all right. Later, all. Have a good one.